This is an update on Osna Chukumachuku's husband, who was arrested, detained, and is now being prosecuted by the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation for brutalizing his wife, Let Osna Chukumachuku. Osna Chukumachuku was a 42 years old Nigerian gospel singer who passed away on the 8th of August 2022. So right after she passed away, neighbors, friends, families rose up to testify that the renowned singer was bullied emotionally, financially, physically by her husband, Peter Mwachuku. And this were the countless witnesses, including his children, Peter Mwachuku, pleaded not guilty to the 23 counts charges bordering on domestic violence and culpable homicide. So as soon as the autopsy result came out and it was revealed that the primary cause of Usnachumachuku's demise was cardiac temponent and secondarily by abnormal growth of tissue, in other words, known as cancer, and not really due to domestic violence. So with this in mind, Mr. Machiku's lawyer, A. Aliyu, filed for a no-case submission, stating that the autopsy result has cleared Peter Machiku of the offense of uh, culpable homicide and uh, domestic violence, since the autopsy has now revealed that he didn't actually brutalize her. But the Federal Capital Territory High Court dismissed the no-case submission filed by Peter Machiku through his lawyer, Aliyu. So at the proceedings on Tuesday, which was yesterday, the presiding judge, Justice Mosu Iheme, established prima facie against him and ordered him to enter defense. This means that he has to defend himself in the court of law and to prove his innocence. The judge established the prima facie against due to the fact that he has loss and loss of witnesses testifying against this man. If you must understand this. There's countless witnesses testifying against him, you understand, including his own children, his own family. Despite the fact that the autopsy is not pointing fingers at him, he still has to face the courts, to defend himself, to clear himself. I mean, he has to also get witnesses or he has to get a proof that he didn't touch this woman, even though the autopsy has said something else. Presently, the case has been adjourned till 22nd and 23rd of, uh, of November. I will update you on the outcome of uh, the proceedings. Meanwhile, we have to know that this man dealt with this woman. His children testified against him. His friends testified against him. The family friends testified against him. Neighbors testified against him. Church members testified against him everybody testified against him so it's like there's no one that has come out to say that this man didn't do this thing to this woman it's always fingers pointing at him and said he did it so now it means that he has no he can't escape this it is impossible for him to escape this because he has to he has to prove that he didn't touch her when everybody is saying that he touched her. in fact there was a time that the, the children said that they were in a car moving car he pushed her out of a moving car he denied her access to money even though this woman was singing and getting a lot of money from her son this man denied her access to her money he did oh in fact i don't want to you can go back to my, my old videos on usnachu magical and watch what this man did to his wife so for now i have to say bye bye to you Okay, I don't want to take too much time in this particular video. I want to say bye-bye to you. I will update you after the next proceeding on this particular case. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. And set notifications so that you can easily assess my upcoming posts. Thank you so much. See you on my next video. Bye-bye. It is also too much was better today, being 25th of June, 2022. The ghost singer and songwriter, known for her hit song, Ekme died on the 8th of April 2022. It has been alleged that Peter Machuko, her husband, who is awaiting trial, caused her death due to domestic violence. Post Nacho Machuko's burial rites started on the 21st of June. With praise night, 
at Michael Okpara Square, Enugu, and on 23rd at M and M Event Center, Area 10, Garuki, Abuja. The burial rites continued with prayer night on Friday, June 24th at, at Amakoko Omako Central School, Isochi, Omonochi, in Abia State. So on 25th, being today, her body arrived at her father's compound in Omonochi, Abia State, where she will be buried after final burial rites. Friends, family, colleagues, co-stars, co-artists, co-singers were all there in their great number to pay their final respect to her remains. May her soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. May God console her children and help them and also help the family to bear the loss. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.